Hey guys, I just wanted to go over a few awesome shows with you today. Today we're going to talk about some of the best anime of all time that you should watch. I'm just going to show you, well I have a couple of the DVDs out from my collection right now and I'll give you a brief description of what it is, why it's cool, and then I think you guys should go look them up and watch them because, well for me, see, these are some of the top picks that I've always loved my entire life. And everybody else I've ever met has loved them too, that's seen them. So you should probably check them out. I and mean, a lot of them you can probably get at Best Buy or another store like that for cheap, for as cheap as they come. But yeah, one of the first ones up on my list uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Um, well, one of the hands down greatest shows I've ever seen, anyone else has ever seen. I uh, did a lot of original things that I've never seen in many other shows. Is Cowboy Bebop. This is of the movie, of course, but it's still as cool as the show, anyways. <laughs> The show is about bounty hunters, in short, in the future. But it's a gritty, realistic future, and not like the Jetsons kind of future. So everyone still has troubles with all the normal, everyday things, bad economy. Um, but the way it does it, the characters are funny, they're interesting, they have a rich, deep background. And it's, what, 26 episodes, I think? And then the movie? It's not too long, doesn't take too much time out of your life, and you should check it out. It's fast shooting. Um, the one, the woman who inspired Man Fay at the conventions, yes. <laughs> but yeah, you guys should check out Cowboy Bebop. That's one of the ones on my list. Another one, a surprising amount of people haven't seen it, or whoever has seen it always remembers it, but they haven't watched it again. And they're always like, "Oh, I remember that show was really good. I used to watch that. And what was it about?" Well, you should watch it again. It's good. Everyone loves it. It used to be on Cartoon Network. Everyone loves this show. Outlaw Star. This is... Would it be out... Well, I guess it'd be like Bounty Hunters in Space. <laughs> but, or Outlaws in Space. Uh, fighting pirates. But people in futuristic... It's the future again. They have ships. Um, they shoot at each other. There's magical powers. Everything blows up. It's awesome. I would show you Trigun, but I don't have the DVDs for that. I watch that one on TV all the time. But yes, Outlaw Star, one of the ones that you should watch. This is a really good show. Everyone's always loved this show. It's one of the best of all time. I actually got this at Best Buy. It was like 20 bucks or something like that. One that you will always see at every convention. Everyone loves it. Everyone talks about it. It's one of the best of all time. It's not a full show. It's actually just a movie. Akira. Now this is like the holy crap of all anime. Um, it tries to take a normal group and then... One of them gets powers, and then one thing leads to another, and then the whole holy shit world thing starts happening that you expect from certain anime, kind of like Gainax shows. <laughs> I won't go into spoilers, though, because it's amazing and you should watch it, if you haven't seen it already, which would be kind of shocking, because it makes such a big impact in the anime world. But this is a highly recommended one by anyone. If you can get the Blu-ray, I don't really think it makes much of a difference because it's so old anyways. But as to the DVD, and it's fun to watch. It's a cool show. I don't know why they haven't done a lot. I don't know if they've done a live action or anything for this, but it's really cool, anyways. Yeah, you should check that out. Um, one of the best movies of all time in the anime realm. Everyone talks about that one. It inspired a lot of future things. Another one is a show that, if you haven't heard of it, then you've been living in a, under a rock or something. And if you haven't given it a chance, then you're just ignorant. Because. Any show to get, what, 291 episodes on just the second series, uh, 190 episodes or something like that in the first series, and they have a third series, and like 14 or 15 movies, you know it's actually a well-done show, even if it's cheesy or overdone. It's well done, and people love it. I'm, of course, talking about Dragon Ball Z. I just grabbed this because it's, well, it has one of the best movies. The other two kind of suck, but... Yeah, so you gotta love Broly. He's cool. But you gotta see Dragon Ball Z. If you haven't seen it, get out from under your rock and go watch Dragon Ball Z. It's cool. It's the ultimate man show, and everyone just loves the screaming, punching. People die. People come back to life. People die again. Death loses its meaning. It's awesome. And they shoot lasers from their hands, and veins pop out from their heads, and it's over 9,000. But yeah, next show. Another one that kind of redefines things by doing things its own way and confusing the heck out of everyone while doing it. Evangelion. 
I have the entire box set in there, but it's the big old school uh, perfect collection box set. So I'm just carrying one of the um, rebirth DVDs with me. One, of, what's it called? Whatever it's called. I I don't know the word rebirth something, relaunch, remake. You know, one of those. But they did the show is so good. They are making the entire show again. I guess kind of like alternate universe or alternate reality. Um, but you should watch the original series all the way through, and then get the movie End of Evangelion, and replace the last two episodes entirely, forget they ever existed. And, yeah, the End of Evangelion is a, the world's greatest... Well, the only word for it is mindfuck. Yeah, that's the only word for it. There's no other description necessary for that. But it's amazing, and you'll love it, and you'll watch it ten times trying to figure out what just happened. So yes, you should watch it. It has giant robots, it has people fighting angels, it has explosions. It's got everything. And it has boobs, yay. You should go watch this. Evangelion. Or the, top, the anime will be Neon Genesis Evangelion. Another one where if you haven't seen it, then what's wrong with you? Well, next up on the list is one where it's another one that's as addicting as crack. And you, if you've not seen it, then you've been under a rock, of course. I know I say that a lot, but a lot of these have been out for a while and they're really good. You need to watch them. This one was as popular as Dragon Ball Z for a while. If not, more popular because more people cared about it and it was awesome. It has three live-action movies now in Japan. Um, one of them actually subtitled and brought over here, I think. Um, then you have the two main OVA movies and another one that no one cares about in the middle. Um, which, well, yeah, then you have 95 episode series. But it did very well. It's called Samurai, or, well, the movies are Samurai X, the show is Roroni Kenshin, or The Wandering Samurai. And you guys, um, would love this show. It's about a samurai who used to kill people for a living. He was an assassin, and he got out of that. He, just, he swore after the war that he would never kill again. And the whole show is his, the whole series, Samurai X, the first one, Trust and Betrayal, is, this is of the last movie. But Samurai X, Trust and Betrayal would be the first part of his life. The show is the middle of his life. And this is the, well, this is the end portion of the whole series. I won't give away anything else for the entire show. Learning the Samurai has lots of cool fights and everyone loves it because it's good. So that's another one you need to see. Go get the DVDs. I don't, I don't think they have it on Netflix yet. But you should watch it. It's a lot of fun. You guys would love it. So, Ruiny Kenshin, check it out. I'll include links in the description below to, um, well, I guess, to description, further descriptions of the show, so you can check it out yourself. Now, next up on my list is one I love, my wife loves, lots of my friends love, everyone loves this show. It's a romance, it's about music, it's about life, it has really no action in it. No exciting moments, but it's a lot of fun and everyone loves it. It's really deep. Talking about Beck. It has a live action movie out in Japan, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. I watch that all the time. I actually was in Japan when it came out. It was I was in Yokosuka where the movie was mostly filmed. And I went to see it twice over there. I don't know. Even if you don't speak that much Japanese, if you've seen the show, you pretty much know what's going on in the movie anyways. Um you can always find a subtitled version online, but I do suggest you buy the movie, too. And the, the you can get the saved version of it. Like, I have, um, it was like 20 bucks or something like that, 15 bucks. I forget how much it was. It was on sale. Excuse me. It was on sale over at uh, Best Buy again. They have good anime selection. Love it. But yeah, Beck, it's about a boy who is depressed. He doesn't know what he wants to do in life. He's going through high school. People pick on him. A very generic character. And then he finds a friend that leads him into the music world, and he falls in love with it. Oh, that's my little girl in there. <laughs> uh, he, the band gets together. Um, I'm going to pause this. But anyway, guys, um, Beck is a good show. You should check it out. Uh, check out the movie as well. Uh, don't get confused with the artist, even though it has the same name. Um, in America, a lot of the time it goes by the, sub, by the underscore... Uh, under title, what is it called? Mongolian Chop Squad. So, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad. Look up that and you'll find it. It's good. Probably can find it on Amazon or something. Another one is... <laughs> Not yet, Tara. Hold on. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm going to give her some chips. 
Up, ne up next, guys, we have Yu Yu Hakusho, which is another show that has uh, been immensely popular when it came out, um, even after that. Not as many people have seen the movie. It's actually a really good movie. Lots of fun action, great animation. Pretty sure this is all hand drawn. That's really well done. Um, it's one of the masterpieces of all time. Has a great story all the way through. It doesn't like. It's not full of fillers. It doesn't uh, stay really good halfway through and then just crap out like Rooney Kenshin did after the second half. It's said the great show is a great show. Rooney Kenshin. The second half of the show is not as good, but up to the Shishio battle, it's amazing. But yeah, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho stays amazing the entire time, all 112 episodes, and the movie. Um, the powers scale at a, at a decent rate, it's not just like some other, some other unnamed shows where it does an immensely am amazing powerful character that, and then your main character gets um, scaled up instantly for no reason. No, they train, they work, and then they get to the, where they want to be. It's awesome. And there's, well, no, I don't think there's much blood in it. But still, it's fighting. It's cool. You guys check it out. Yu Yu Hakusho. Another show that I was, uh, I've always, oh, sorry, that was one of the boxes. Another show that I've always loved, um, that I highly suggest to anyone. Um, both women and men would like it. It does a lot of interesting things. It has robots, it has... People with wings, there's something in it for everybody. There's samurai, there's fighting, there's romance. Um, it's one of the ones that actually got me into anime in the first place. When the, I went to an anime club back in high school, they had this on in the, the show in the original Japanese with subtitles. Um, the VHS tapes for it. Um, I actually still have those. The VHS version of this with the uh, subtitles and everything. Um, but it's called Escaflone. This is of the movie, which has a completely different storyline. Don't be confused when you're looking for Escaflone. Get the anime. That was the original. That was what was done first. It's done brilliantly. If you really want to see more of a similar storyline, but done in different ways with different people, or no, same people, same environment, but different story, um, then check out the two different mangas that have completely nothing to do with each other. And the movie, which has nothing to do with anything, any of the other series. But the anime series, episode 1 through 26, brilliant. Loved it. The movie is cool in cinematography and art form and everything. It's really well done. It's a little confusing, but most people like it. I loved it. It's cool. And it has giant robot fights. Yay! <laughs> but Escaflone, really well done. You guys should check it out. Love it. One of the ones that got me into anime in the first place. Another classic that was oh, sorry, the box is falling over. Another classic that a lot of people have not seen actually. Um, vampire lovers will love this. You may think I'm about to say Helsing, but I'm not. That is a good show, by the way. Um, Helsing Ultimate's even better because it follows the manga closer. That you should see Vampire Hunter D. Uh, he's a Danfear, and he is the uber badass who can kill vampires with no problem, and he is awesome. Um, he's a more realistic character. He's dark and gritty. Um, you see, you see a lot more about who he is in the second movie, uh, Vampire Hunter D: Bloodlust. But the first one, it felt a lot like a Dracula story. Like, well, I guess it is, but yeah, you'll 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 see what I mean. It's it's a cool movie. It's dark. It's gritty. It's bloody. It's got a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah, if you like dark anime, then this is a good one for you to check out. It's a classic. I think it's all hand-drawn also. It's a masterpiece. You gotta check it out. Vampires as they should be. Not glittery and crappy. This one actually has two anime series that... Really, well, I guess they do have something to do with each other, but they're done by different groups and they don't have all that much to do with each other in, uh, I guess directly, they're, one's like a remake of the other one, but without any blood whatsoever. Better animation. The first one is just called The Giver, Bow Boosted Armor. And what's not bad about that? It's like Power Ranger with blades and bloods, and they tear things up and they cut things up. It's awesome. There's blood everywhere. It's a great story. Um, it's not very long, the OVA. The OVA is the, is the original one. Loved it. Tons of blood. It was very artistic. All hand-drawn. 
uh, really close to the comic. Wonderful. You should check it out if you can find it. I loved it. It was actually done by Manga Studio. And if you find that, awesome. The new one, I, I have that too. It's back over there, but it has great animation, but it's mostly done through computer, and they took out all the blood for no reason whatsoever. We don't know why, because we have modern shows like Elf and Lee that have tons of blood. So, I'm drawing a blank on that, but the original series, check it out. It's good. There's also two American movies on it that are live action. Um, they were actually pretty well done. The first one was a bit darker, gr dark, gritty. They tried to do realistic. The second one, they're like, hey, let's do this like the comic, and people jump and do flips, and it's awesome. Wireframe, wire stunts. Yeah. And my, the last one on my list that you have to check out has several series after it. Some of them don't really have that much to do with another, one another. My favorite are the OVA, the regular one, and the, the second one that came out way later. It's a romance show, a harem style. It never really concludes who, he's en who he ends up with, but who cares because it's amazing anyways. I'm talking about Tenshi Muyo. You're probably not going to find this box set, but you'll find another box set the, uh, of it somewhere. But it's a great show. Um, the characters are all well explored. It's very funny. It's perverted. It's happy. There's dark moments, there's happy moments. It's just wonderful. Everyone loves this. I started watching this when, I guess, early to mid-teen years. But it's amazing. You can check it out in a second. First series is just Tenshi Muyo. Then way later on, they finish the, the, seri the OVA series with um, Tenshi Muyo Ryo Oki. There's also Tenshi Universe, followed by Tenshi in Tokyo. Then there's all the extra ones like GXP, and then they released a few other ones recently, too. Uh, and some movies that follow the Tenji Universe storyline. But it's it was... They have so many different series branching off it, it's just a wonderful show. Everyone loves it, it always does well. No matter what incarnation you find of it. Um, check it out, Tenji Muyo. Everyone loves it. But yeah, that concludes my... Uh, well, I guess not so brief list. It ends up to be a bit a bit... Of a lengthy video, sorry about that guys. Of uh, the top anime that I would suggest to anyone watching, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you have seen it, watch it again. Introduce someone else to it. It's fun. But yeah, for now I will say bye. If there's anyone anything else you want me to talk about in here or suggest to people, just tell me in the comments below and I'll make another video. For now, I will see you guys later.